in our previous video, we kind of flew through the form creation process because I wanted to actually spend a little bit more time on the really important parts of this series. Now we're going to slow it down quite a bit and actually just spend some time focusing on one single thing. In this video, we're going to focus on creating a spinner for when our sign-in button is pressed. When our button is pressed, we need some way of showing that there is some sort of activity happening. Right now, when I click this, nothing actually happens. Let's first start by creating a Boolean value in our state. We can create a Boolean value that we can attach to our state and then we can evaluate it at various points through our registration process to know if there's an action being performed. First, let's add a new parameter to the state of authenticating and we'll give it a Boolean value of false. Now let's add another import into our React Native import statement and we're gonna import activity indicator. I think it would also make some sense to actually break out our render method into a separate function here. And we can call it render current state. And this render current state will return something different depending on the authenticating state. So this authenticating Boolean value here, depending on what that is, will return something different. So let's first start by pulling out all of our form logic here. And uh, we'll just delete that. Next, we will just check if this.state.authenticating and if that evaluates to true, then we'll return a view. And inside of that view, we'll have our activity indicator. And we'll set the size to a string of large. And that can be a self-closing activity indicator, then close our view. And then if authenticating doesn't evaluate to true, we should just return a view. And inside of that view, we'll, put, we'll paste in our uh, form logic there. So close that out there. Okay, so if I refresh that, we'll see a blank slate. And that's because we're actually not calling this render current state function yet. So let's down here in our empty view, let's call this dot render current state. And we should see our form again. Okay, great. Next thing we'll do is create an on press sign in method that will handle the sign in process. So when a person presses the button for now, let's just actually toggle the authenticating state. So right here above render current state, let's create on press sign in. And this dot set state, and we'll set authenticating to true. And now let's add that into our button as well. So remove this console log, and we'll just say this dot on press sign in. So now we should see a spinner when we press this. Great, you can see that. So we've set, what we're doing here is we're setting authenticating to true, and this is evaluating to true, so we're returning this view. Now to clean things up a little bit, let's add some additional styling to our style sheet down below. So we'll add an additional line called align items, and we'll set that to center, and we'll justify our content vertically to the center as well, and we'll set a flex direction of row. And now we'll create a new style of form. And we'll set the flex to one. So when I refresh that, we'll see that our form is a little small. That's because we need to add our style of form right here. So style equals styles.form. And we could actually add that as well to this. So style equals styles.form. So let's hit this login button again, and we can see our activity spinner is now centered on our screen. So I think that's gonna be it for this video. In our next video, we're gonna start sending our data to Firebase and register our first user. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see future episodes, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with the series. And if you wanna get notifications of our guides and screencasts straight to your inbox once a week, sign up for the free StatCast newsletter at statcast.com. Thanks for watching, bye.